everybody and happy Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and if you celebrate Easter, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Today, we are going to take a trip through the rainforest. We are going to read Over and Under the Rainforest. It's written by Kate Messner and the artwork is by Christopher Silas Neal and it's published by Chronicle Books and we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. So, Let's get started. And you can see by these beautiful end pages, look at all those really cool leaves. You know I love really nicely decorated end pages. Are you ready to get started? Over and under the rainforest. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Into the rainforest we hike through slivers of sunlight and dripping wet leaves. Up in the trees, there's a symphony of sound, chatters and chirps and a howling roar. What's up there, I whisper. Up in the trees, Tito asks. What do you think's up there? Up in the trees is a whole hidden world, a riot of monkeys and insects and birds. We're hiking under them now. And let's find out what's up there. What do you think is up there? Up in the trees, aura pendulas gurgle in low swinging nests. Toucans croak and bicker over breakfast. And those are just all kinds of rainforest birds. Down in the forest, I follow Tito along the trail while agoutis search the ground for fallen fruit. You see this? He's looking for fruit. Onto the footbridge we climb, up, up, up. Tito rests to catch his breath before we cross over the river below. Up in the trees, long-nosed bats sleep away the daylight, all in a row. You see them? Can you see them all sleeping in a row? Down on the bank, sleepy crocodiles bask in the sun. All sleeping in the sun or resting, but definitely enjoying the sun. As we cross, an emerald basilisk races us to the other side, barely skimming the river's surface. Tito and I laugh at his fast, funny legs and wish we could walk on water too. Do you think that would be neat if you could walk on water? We scramble over roots and rocks, climbing higher into the trees. A poison dart frog makes his way up a trunk with a tadpole on his back. See that right there? Our hanging bridge teeters and tips with every wobbly step. I keep a tight grip on the rail. We're eye to eye with capuchin monkeys. They hold on with arms and legs and tails, swinging through branches up here in the trees. All right, I just need to ask, what do you think about that kind of bridge? Do you think you'd like to walk on that kind of bridge? I don't know, but I'd love to know what you think. My stomach grumbles and Tito reaches into his pack. We snack on dried mangoes and pineapple while the monkeys feast on wild almonds. Way down below, a leaf cutter ant, leaf cutter ants march in a line, carrying bits of leaves and petals back to their nest. A long snouted anteater snuffles along, sniffing for a meal of his own. The afternoon rain begins with a patter, a pitter soft drumming on the leaves up above. Soon it swells to a strong rushing pour and all the world feels dripping and wet. A blue morpho butterfly folds up her wings and tucks away on a tree trunk. High in the branches, a soggy mother sloth and her baby sleep through the storm. Do you see the sloth? We had a sloth come to the library two summers ago and everybody loved it. Deep in the forest, the rain lets up. A parrot snake races over the trail, long and slender and green. She's hunting frogs, 
she's hunting frogs, Tito says, as a snake's skinny tail disappears in the leaves. Up in the trees, an eyelash palm pit viper hunts too, curled around a branch, patient and silent and still. Do you see that snake in those branches? That's gotta be one of the scariest things. I'm not a huge fan of snakes. High in the canopy, a furry dark shadow clings to a branch. Tito lifts his hands to his mouth and sends a roar to the sky. The forest waits, quiet. Then a roar, 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 comes the answer. A thunder of howler monkeys up in the trees. They're all up there and it sounds like they're making a lot of noise. Their calls quiet down as the blue sky grows dark. Night falls fast in the forest. Our walk through the treetops is through. At the base of the bridge, an orb spider weaves her web, a golden tapestry that will catch moonlight and insects tonight. See that spider? Isn't that web beautiful? There's a sudden sharp snap and I freeze in my tracks, a crack of a branch, a long, loud rustle, then quiet again. Maybe it's a jaguar walking to hunt. Night is her time for growling and prowling through the shadows of the forest floor. You see that? The jaguar is nocturnal, so she hunts at night. I run to catch up with Tito as we cross the last bridge to home. Abuela will have supper waiting. Arrows come poilo, chicken and spices with rice. The sky grows dark and birds return to their nests. I spy a squirrel, cuckoo, a woodpecker, a mot mot flying home through the trees. Their songs fade away as a choir of insects and rain fill the dust. A night song of darkness and water and life over us, under us, and all around. The end. And then, if you come and check this book out in the library, there are a whole lot of facts about all of the animals that we read about today in this story. Several pages of them, and I'm not going to read them all now, but if you found this really fun and you love this book, come in and check it out and you can read all about it. All right, I will be back on Thursday with another brand new story. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this book. So please let us know on our Instagram page what you thought about it. I'll see everybody soon. Bye for now.